I think the Spitfire is important to people. It was a symbol of freedom, I guess, back in, in the 40s. It was something that people looked up, instantly recognised. They, they could hear it, they knew what it was. For me as an engineer, it's a marvel of engineering and something that was far ahead of its time. My dad was a mechanic. I was always brought up to use my hands. So I started an apprenticeship in aircraft engineering when I was 16, three days after I finished school. 20 something years later, I'm working on the dream aeroplane. When I was an apprentice, actually, there used to be a gentleman that used to keep his Spitfire in our hangar in the winter, which was a two-seat one, and I was lucky enough to go flying in that, I think, in about 1997, which really kind of spurred the interest in that particular aeroplane at that time and uh, never thought I'd be doing what I was doing today. The prototype first flew in the 5th of March 1936, designed by RJ Mitchell, flew not too far from here, down in Southampton, the uh, first flight test. From the outset of that flight, it was something quite marvellous, and I think one of the test pilots came back and said, don't touch a thing, it's perfect. The main thing about the Spitfire is this elliptical wing shape, and it's the thin profile of it, which gave the pilots his manoeuvrability that they never had before, and the ability to, to turn tighter and, and react quicker. The engine in the Spitfire is a Rolls-Royce Merlin, it's a 27 litre V12, supercharged, it's just a very loud engine. Everybody recognises it. Whenever I hear one, it'll make me look up and try and find it, see where it is. Sometimes when you start the engine, especially when it's hot, you will get flames coming out of the exhaust. There's a misconception, I guess, that the, the Spitfire is called the Spitfire because it does throw flames out of exhaust, literally, which is really quite spectacular. It's all about hands-on experience. The more you play with these aeroplanes, the more you learn how they work, and it's a marvellous bit of engineering. The longest flight is trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. It's basically about flying the aeroplane around the world and, and taking it to places it's never been. It'll just be me that'll go off on the trip as the engineer. It's incredibly nerve-wracking. <laughs> It'll certainly be something that I'll tell the grandkids about whenever I eventually get some of them. I'm really lucky to do what I do. We're custodians of these aeroplanes now, really, and it's, it's nice to be a part of that.